So do your dependents have to pay tax on what you've left them? Well, they would pay inheritance tax if it were part of your estate and you were over the inheritance tax limit, which is around £300,000 per person, £600,000 for a couple. But what you would typically do is write a policy in trust. And most, insur most life insurance policies actually have those papers with. Mm. So what that means is you write it and then the payout is to goes to your dependents as opposed to it to your estate and then given to your dependents which means you wouldn't generally pay inheritance tax on it and that's a pretty standard way in order to operate these things. What about if you have a medical condition can you still get covered? Yeah but it's going to cost a lot more and that is a real problem. Uh, so people who've had a past condition it will cost a lot more. It's worth noting smokers pay more than non-smokers because they're more likely to die within the set term. Mm. Uh, you have to be a non-smoker, you have to be between one and five years completely, completely cigarette or cigar right. free in order to count as a non-smoker. So, you know, medically you have to consider there's lots of things to go in here. In terms of getting the policies, lots of people use comparison sites. Actually, they take full commission. So you want to use a discount broker if you want the cheapest way. Uh, Cavendish Online, Money World, Money uh, uh, Minder. Money Minder. Yes, I just couldn't read my own writing there. <laughs> Money Minder. You've got it up on the here. notes from the website. Yeah. Uh, so Money Minder. Those are the three discount brokers. But if you want advice, and it's not a bad thing to take advice, then places like Life Search or Life Assure Online, or you can go and get an IFA from and you can vouch for. Can also give you advice because there can be complicated elements. There's a full web web article I've done on this. Thank so you. So it's really important if you're going to get this. I read that much. first.